Hello. I pray that your day is a great one today. The Word of God writes in 1 John chapter 4 and verse 18, where it says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. What's the first thing you think about in the morning these days? And what's the last thing you think about before you put your head on the pillow? What's the word? I pray that the word is not fear because perfect love drives out fear. God loves you perfectly. He showed that with clarity that Jesus Christ came to the cross. That's what this season of the year is about, Lent, as we move toward Good Friday and Easter Sunday, the reality of the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. I pray that you know you are loved, and I pray that you, the final word you have in your mind is not fear. This is a time of complexity, without question, but it's a time for courage and for bravery and for hope and for confidence in the love that God has for us. I'm not going to suggest that these aren't difficult times. Some of you are experiencing extremely difficult times. These are changing times beyond what we ever thought were possible. But perfect love drives out fear. You are loved by God. We love you. Your family loves you. You are precious and important. I want to say a couple of things. I'd like to say thank you for all of you who came and gave things for the food bank that will be tomorrow. And I want to mention to you that if you are so inclined and you wanted to help, St. Mary's suggests that the things that people need the most are peanut butter, canned protein, that is chicken, tuna, and spam, canned ravioli, canned fruits, no sugar added, packed in 100% fruit juice, canned vegetables, canned beans, low sodium, cereal, whole grain, wheat, boxed. If any of that's possible, we would be happy to be the place that delivers it to people on the edge. At this time, especially people who have lost their jobs, their life has changed dramatically, and we want to be the church, clearly, to those people. We also want to pray. I want to pray for Sean, who is a respiratory therapist in California, and for... Stephen and Shelby with their daughter Angelina are in the army and stationed in South Korea at this time and under lockdown. And for a niece, Ruth, in Portugal who has been diagnosed with the virus. Please pray with me. Dear God, we pray for all these that I have mentioned and so many more. We pray for people who have lost jobs, people whose first thought in the morning is fear and last thought at night is fear. We pray that our first thought might be you love us and our last thought might be you love us perfectly. May we have that confidence and that certainty even in uncertain times. May you give to us hope. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray that the first word and the final word today is love, that God loves you perfectly, and it drives out fear. God bless you today.